Hey guys, this is Andre, a certified translator and a real estate concierge here in Minsk, Belarus. Sorry, it's been a while. Today we're talking about renovation. Relocation normally brings in a housewarming party and that is preceded by nervous, stressful and quite often hazardous process called renovation. I heard girls like it, but it's really hard to tell why. Today we are going to look at a pretty simple, pretty cute flat of one of my clients that he just had renovated and see which issues might come up in the process. Thank you for staying with the channel. I must point out that the country is full of all sorts of supermarkets, hypermarkets, whatever they call them, constructions, renovation, DIY. I'll put you down some keywords for you to search them on Yandex Maps. But just name what you wish and it's going to be here. They deliver, they supply, no particular chain to be advertised. You'll find whatever stuff you need in a certain store or whichever store your renovation guys will recommend. And that would be it, the best solution. In this specific renovation story, my client, a good man who just got married here, was interested in having the place brushed up. So after the immigration part where I was uh, helpful as a concierge, as a translator and everything, uh, we were uh, switching to the, um, to the renovation part of the apartment. Uh, this was quite a test to my talents. It was a very stressful undertaking uh, because we didn't really have a concrete plan about what was going to happen to the apartment. Original uh, task set by the client was I want to change the wallpapers, the ceiling and uh, attend to the floor. Uh, eventually, of course, we uh, ended up doing 99% renovation of the flat and it's still ongoing because some of the suppliers were not really uh, very exacting. Well, such jobs are a perfect uh, example of how a concierge may be handy. Translation, transportation, negotiation, some arguments, uh, a bit of diplomacy, a bit of this, a bit of that. There were all sorts of things involved and you know, some of the uh, things I'm going to tell you today are very provincial, very um, ordinary, maybe you know them already, but firstly, uh, you shouldn't buy a place from the person that you have some kind of a grudge with, uh, the person that feels um, you owe them uh, or the other way around, it's not going to work very well. Best not buy from somebody you know. I can't say don't buy from friends or don't buy from acquaintances, but uh, my client knew the landlady. He rented from her for a while and his wife was happy with the flat, so they ended up without screening the nearby options. We really couldn't see if that was overpriced, if that was okay price, but the owner ended up rumbling that we uh, cheated her and we paid her less and her mother was very unhappy. and. Uh, it was kind of funny when we offered our help here and there about their packing and uh, uh, moving and mom was still like on the uh, grudging side about ah guys you paid us so little but yeah please help me with this chandelier move it uh, take it off and blah 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 that was interesting so uh, the uh, uh, grudge with the uh, seller may get you delayed utility bills uh, paperwork that you'd have to pursue every now and then again and again uh, and a few other things that you will otherwise get handled swiftly with impartial people with people who uh, don't care also very important make sure you talk same currency in our case there was a little wrinkle with the pricing 62,000 euro she said I meant euro guys not dollars and that was almost on the deal day but agent and the client talked to her talked to the owner and she was okay to recognize this was actually dollars so that was not a problem
Of course, always buy a place considering renovation and knowing which uh, uh, types of lodge exist here in Belarus, specifically in Minsk. You may calculate your budget more or less uh, roughly uh, when you're shopping around for a flat first. In Stalin era, era uh, flats, it will be more costly. In Khrushchev era flats, it's, it's going to be a bit cheaper. So we ended up buying a two bedroom, uh, 45 meter large apartment with a combined lavatory, meaning toilet and bathroom are in one unit, in one room. Uh, and uh, uh, the place, the building went, underwent capital improvement. They had some thermal plates on the outside, new layer of plaster new layer of paint inside the staircase the place was on the second floor so going upstairs required no lift and that was good for all sorts of supplies like heavy stuff sofas washing machines and that that was good when you're buying a place it's very important i would say to uh, see if it underwent capital improvement because when you've uh, thrown in your italian tiles and uh, uh, other sorts of things, utensils into the bathroom and into the kitchen. The uh, capital improvement that mostly involves uh, replacement of sewage pipes will get your carpeting mess. That's to put it mildly. When this happens, the uh, renovations have to be redone. So if capital improvement has occurred in the building already, that's a great thing, a great plus uh, to, the, to the deal. Once you have bought it, sit down and make a good plan, a detailed plan about what you want and how you want it. It's much worse if a wife is involved. I mean, if it's a sweet, friendly marriage, it's kind of cool, of course, but if everybody is busy and they don't speak the same language very well, this gets a translator involved and this gets the translator guilty of all sorts of things that are not working right. So I would say give it some time, live there for a while and outline a very detailed, precise plan what's going to happen to the flat. Because in our case, again, it was wallpapers and ceiling and the floor brushed up. It got 100% redone. Looking for personnel. As Uncle Joe said some time ago, personnel is the key. It's really, really a mess. Constructions people have their season. It's uh, summertime. Now in the cold season, it's kind of off season. So the rates go down. But good guys are always hard to get. So it takes some time to actually find the people who are going to handle your place, which is too small, or which comes too soon. Oh, they have to finish another place, etc., etc. So personnel is going to be a pain and Google is not the best helper here. So in our case, I was trying to get my electrician, my renovation guys. Mostly the recommended guys were OK. And now it's funny because recommended guys lost me two years of my life in courts and everything. They were referenced and everything. And uh, I can't say 100% that recommended guys will pull it uh, hardest. It's not necessarily so, but recommended guys, you see the approach, you control step by step what they're doing, control the um, finance. It's going to be good. The only guy who let me down is the recommended furniture guy who was there without me. I'm not sure how they communicated, but the guy just stopped calling back. And after they talked wardrobe, he just vanished. That's it. The next guy that was uh, found through a company on Google actually ended up sending in uh, sketches uh, made by hand like uh, some prehistoric graffiti and the lady of the flat, so to speak, the wife being a graphics designer was uh, impressed by such an attitude uh, of a professional to drawings. So we politely said no to this furniture guy, to the company, and they were actually okay, surprisingly enough, to undo the contract and to return the money as we stepped into the office and explained the matter. We were happy with their other guys, but these guys were just canceled. That was all right. Something had to be done to the floors. Now, wooden floors is a bit of a bugger. They were ancient floors, meaning like somewhere from the 70s when they were built and they were polished, as we were explained by the floor guys who came from Google several times. So by that time, they only made a thin layer of uh, uh, wood and uh, it was a challenge basically to remove some more from top and put some lacquer on top. Uh, we shaded it a little bit, we polished it a little bit, uh, but funnily enough, the floor guys left uh, leaving inch uh, wide holes by the, by the wall, essentially. So they uh, came there with a lot of pomp and stories about their labor, but um, our 
general guys, uh, multi-purpose uh, renovation guys, actually handled the problem of the holes uh, down below that were covered by moldings and another trick. So these fellas weren't really responsive and weren't very helpful about uh, what they did and how they did it. They got paid off, they vanished, that's it. So when you're checking what's happened, make sure you understand what's happened and how it was done and the results are to your liking before you pay off completely. The trick with the wooden floor was about the age and the fact that we don't really know what happens to the base logs, uh, the uh, uh, supporting beams, if that's the right term. Uh, whether or not they were rotten already, we didn't really eliminate the screeching, so uh, that was left as it was. Besides, we had wooden frames from the previous doors that we kept. We didn't really strip them off, so that was also a bit of a challenge to fix. Uh, the floor got fixed, the lacquer got applied. Uh, it's important to let it dry, of course, before the wallpapers could st wallpaper guys could step in. So wallpapers and plastering, in the reverse order, of course, was handled by our multi-purpose fellas. Our multi-purpose fellas, and of course it's best when one section of the renovation is handled by, handled by a purpose-trained uh, person, like a plumber handles sewage, bathroom and everything, electrician guy handles electri electricity, and uh, it's important to have all their supplies in place, and that's another very crucial point that we didn't observe a couple of times, to get the job done. Otherwise, there could be stress, wasted time, and a lot of you know, uh, words uh, wasted uh, both ways. Our multi-purpose guys stepped into the place and uh, provided an estimate about uh, of, of how much it's going to be per meter, lay down the uh, estimates, uh, walls, um, ceiling, the ceiling, sorry, ceiling was this French plastic ceiling that gets uh, stretched over, so uh, they didn't really do the ceiling plastering because a leveling old concrete panels may take too much plastering and too much effort, unnecessary effort. So they were just doing the uh, uh, sides of the window frames, uh, the plastering of the walls and the wallpapers themselves. Then they also handled the installation and de-installation of the bathroom utensils and of the kitchen. The wallpapers were purchased, applied to the plastered walls and uh, we moved on uh, with the furniture guys. There were kitchen folks careful with the kitchen designers guys because in my personal experience sometimes they just don't give a damn about where the vent goes where the cooker is uh, all these things were ordered and with some stress and delays supplied and installed and uh, meanwhile we got the contracts for the internet uh, the guy came to install it with the gas guys who unplugged the gas before installation and plugged it back after the kitchen was thrown in so the only problem we got there was bathroom, uh, two problems, and the door. The entrance door is a little war. It, well, it, I didn't witness it, but it must have been quite a demolition because it's just a few centimeters away from the neighbor's door, so it, it must have been dusty and shaky. Uh, the door was delayed. They had a tailor-made door that opens outwards and uh, it got uh, supplied. It was to be supplied in a month after he ordered it, but uh, I didn't follow up because I switched to another project and uh, I believe by now it has been installed and he's, he's happy. Again, speaking of an ancient place that you have purchased, you either research the place with a very experienced renovation guy or, or just take minimal steps to renovate first or do not renovate at all first. Because when you touch one thing, like we touched the heaters because they were re removed to apply the wallpapers, when they got them back and uh, did the plugs, uh, there were leaks. So essentially it turned out when we got the plumber guy, uh, the heaters were installed by pretty ignorant people. Whether or not it's true, it's hard to tell, but they were leaking. And uh, that was a bit of a puzzle inside each heater, which had to be undone. And the heaters stopped crying so to speak so this was one bugger and the other was polishing and renewing the bathtub uh, which ended up in uh, basically the destruction of the bathtub because where the um, outlet of the water is the metal got very thin and when the guy started polishing that bit it just broke 
and the whole bathtub had to go which almost affected the tiles which almost affected other things next to it because the bathroom was like uh, with the old design knocking off the tiles would have been worse than the war so the bath tub got carefully replaced for this recently installed uh, things uh, in the bathroom had to be undone then applied back for the risk of damaging them when the bathtub comes in and uh, everything was plugged in the way it has to be then we got the plumber again to get the kitchen uh, sink uh, in, uh, plugged in and uh, to get the bathtub plugged in right the right way and then the bath, uh, the, the washing machine was supplied and uh, installed duly by uh, the guy who comes from the shop. There is this online supermarket, I'll leave the link down below, that is pretty good here. And often they come with the assembly guys, installation guys, who take care of the thing that just got supplied, which is very handy, especially if you don't speak the language. Uh, essentially, this was it. The wardrobe got assembled later. There were some other uh, things like niche, literally niche things, like a small niche between lobby and kitchen that had to be uh, packed with a wardrobe, tailor-made wardrobe that was unfortunate enough to be designed by that guy who liked hand-drawn sketches. So I'm not sure what happened to that, but this was uh, an extra uh, bit of homework for the, for the client. Otherwise, uh, by the time I filmed the interior, they were like 80% done. And this was the quick story about renovation, uh, how it's handled in Belarus, how it, uh, which risks it carries and how much approximately it may cost uh, when somebody else handles it and when you don't speak the language. Thank you very much for watching the channel. Your questions are very welcome. Press a like or a dislike, depending on how you feel about this video. Uh, donate a few coins if you can. That will improve the picture and the sound. The new sound is coming from the States, by the way. Many thanks to Brian. And uh, um, I'll see you here. I'll see you on Sunday night at the one of the expat meetings. The details are down below. Thank you for watching the channel. Shop wisely and cheers. Bye.